Hey everyone, welcome back to Upside Down Data. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about Cardano and its native token ADA, and specifically what the upcoming Vassal hard fork could mean for the price of ADA. So if you guys like the content, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and let's dive into it. So um, the Vassal hard fork is fast approaching for Cardano after some delays. This was initially planned for earlier in 2022, there was a June date that then eventually got pushed back. And now it looks like the Vassal hard fork for Cardano is uh, on track to be implemented on September 22nd. So a little over a week from now. This is creating a lot of excitement uh, among Cardano investors and across the space in general. I mean, Cardano is one of the largest blockchains by market cap. Uh, it's uh, in particular, one of the leading proof of stake blockchains, which gives it uh, a niche that um, you know even Ethereum is uh, you know aspiring to, and um, it's rolling out a lot of functionality and a lot of business partnerships that could potentially propel it into the next bull market. The question for us as investors is what this means for the price of ADA, um, and there's a lot of discussion about this and a lot of excitement and frankly a lot of optimism. That's what I want to dig into today. Um, first of all, just to acknowledge, there's no question that the Vassal hard fork is uh, a bullish development on the fundamental side for Cardano. It's going to improve scalability. It's going to improve speed and the user experience for people using the Cardano blockchain. Um, and it's going to kickstart very likely further development, um, and attract developers to the Cardano blockchain, um, to host their projects. So there is indeed a lot of reason for optimism from a functionality perspective and from a long-term perspective for Cardano. Question is what this means for price. Um, as I mentioned, there's been a lot of discussion about this and uh, specifically a lot of people calling for bullish price action on Cardano as a function of this Vassal hard fork. Are we going to see a pump incoming? Um, that's the question. And what I wanna um, contend is that the optimism that, that we're seeing here around the Vassal hard fork and what this could mean for the price of Cardano is, is uh, not very well supported. And actually, we really need to be cautious here um, for a few reasons. There are some headwinds here that um, are, are likely, in my view, to override the potential for the Vassal hard fork to pump the price of Cardano. Now, um, the first reason here, the first kind of cause for concern is probably fairly obvious to you if you've been around the market recently, that is the broader macroeconomic conditions and specifically news that just came out this morning, this is Tuesday, September 13th, about uh, inflation in August. The numbers were worse than expected um, in the US. I mean, we knew that inflation has been rising, it has been for some time, um, but there was a bit of a slowdown earlier in the summer that created some hope that potentially uh, inflation could be um, coming under control. That seems not to be the case quite yet. Uh, in fact, not only did inflation increase in August, but, but it did so um, you know, to a degree that outstripped people's expectations. Um, you know, when there's bad news coming, if it's expected, then the market has the potential to price it in. It's when, ex what's, it's when expectations are violated that we're likely to see the market react negatively. And, and indeed, um, that's what we saw after this announcement came out this morning um, regarding data on inflation over the summer, the latter part of the summer. We saw an immediate reaction in the markets, a pullback um, on the price of Bitcoin, on the price of equities and risk assets in general. Um, and you know the, the impending hard fork is, is not going to override uh, that kind of influence. That's number one, but there's another headwind here that I think that we need to keep in mind that um, would be in place even if the broader market conditions were more favorable. And that is that um, the Vassal hard fork is competing for attention and investor funds with another major development in the space, which is even more significant. And that is the Ethereum merge, which is scheduled to happen imminently. and um, among other things, will transition the Ethereum blockchain to a proof of stake system. It's currently on a proof of work, and it will transition to a proof of stake. Um, 
This means both fundamental competition for ADA, but it also means uh, sentiment competition for ADA. There's not a lot of interest in the space right now relative to what you might be, uh, you know, you got used to in 2021 if you were around. Um, interest has kind of drained out of the space during this bearish period. And uh, I think that um, the idea that we can sustain multiple rallies across the market as these fundamental improvements are being made is a little bit implausible. There's just not enough energy uh, behind the space right now to, to drive up the price of any given asset in the top 10 or the top 50 that uh, is improving its technology. That's the kind of thing that's likely to happen when there's uh, higher sentiment in the space, uh, and we're just not there right now. So ADA is contending not only with broader bearish conditions, but even to the extent that there is some interest that could drive up price, a lot of that is going to be absorbed by Ethereum. So the timing here for ADA is just really not favorable from a technical perspective, from a fundamental or technical perspective. We're going to get more into the technicals in a moment, which will reinforce uh, the need for caution here and uh, you know, kind of reinforce the idea that you know, the pump incoming types of takes here are a little bit overly optimistic. And perhaps a little bit clickbaity. Um, you know, if we just look at the the price of ADA here, um, because the technicals do matter too. This is the daily chart. We can see that, as I mentioned, price has been pulling back pretty substantially. Here we have a nice red candle forming on the daily chart, and yet we're still range bound here. I mean, we could draw a range uh, over the last few months from you know the lower 40s into the mid 50s or so, and so um, you know from that standpoint. Data is just continuing to move sideways as most of the market is. Um, but critically, it's lost important levels here that, um, that should uh, you know, kind of flip our bias back toward the downside a little bit. Um, here we have the market direction classifier. Um, this is an indicator that we developed here on the channel that uh, is intended to tell you whether the market direction is uh, more likely to be up or down at any given time. And it does this by analyzing price action um, using an algorithm that uh, identifies a critical level above which um, the market direction is still bullish and below which the market direction is bearish. And today's price action has uh, flipped ADA's price below this critical level. This critical level is just below 50 cents for ADA. It's about 0.497 cents. And today's open was above that level where the market direction um, could still be expected to be bullish. You can see that on the chart here. We have uh, green that's still um, reflected on today's price action. The reason that this is still green and hasn't flipped red despite dipping below this yellow line, which is the critical level, is because we haven't had a daily candle close. If the daily candle closes at the current level, then we will see the market direction classifier flip red. And generally speaking, as you can see across this chart, um, red is uh, you know, a very bearish signal, and it suggests that the market is likely to continue toward the downside. We would like to see daily closes uh, above the market direction classifier's critical level in order to get bullish again. So today's price action is not only bearish from the standpoint of a pullback, it's bearish more specifically from the standpoint of having lost this critical level of 0.497 cents. Now, if we look at uh, risk information to kind of put this in context, here we have the UDPI, this is the upside downside potential indicator for ADA from, for the short, medium, and long term from left to right, respectively. So the short term upside downside potential is minus 1.34, which um, is slightly more bullish than bearish. This is a scale that runs from minus five, which is the lowest risk, to plus five, which is the highest risk. So we're a little bit below the midpoint here in all three time frames, which suggests that there is room to run to the upside if the market conditions allow that to happen. At the same time, there is certainly potential for further downside action. We are not um, at historically low uh, risk levels for ADA or for most of the market as a whole. So. Um, you know, this is kind of confluent with what we're seeing elsewhere, meaning the market direction classifier flipped bearish. And we see that, you know, if the market direction stays bearish, there is 
uh, you know, potential downside to be realized here. So there are fundamental headwinds in terms of the CPI and inflation um, and in terms of what that's going to mean for monetary policy and future um, interest rate hikes. We also have headwinds in terms of the Ethereum hard fork stealing the thunder away from ADA. There's just not enough interest in the space, in my opinion, to sustain multiple rallies here. Uh, you know, and that's even assuming that Ethereum can rally, which is um, you know, not a guarantee by any means either. Ethereum has also pulled back pretty substantially today. Um, you might want to see what this looks like on, uh, you know, on a chart. Um, here's the long-term UDPI, just to kind of put things in broader context so we're not just looking at those individual numbers. So these are daily uh, closes, each dot, and they're color-coded by risk. So um, the green dots are low risk, and the red dots are high risk. And from a long-term perspective, I mean, this reflects what we've been seeing. Um, fairly low risk here, although not uh, extremely low risk. And we do see that historically, um, there have been cases of extended periods of relatively low risk. So, you know, when we interpret the long-term UDPI, we want to keep in mind that this is intended to project um, the risk to reward ratio on a long time frame. Buying a low risk level is by no means a guarantee that we will realize profits in the short term. Yet even on the short term, um, you know, we can see that there's potential for, uh, you know, an extended period of sideways action or even further downside. You know, we've been kind of grinding sideways as we saw on the price chart and, you know, the short term risk, which fluctuates much more quickly than the long term risk does, has been kind of moving, um, you know, getting rejected from this kind of neutral midpoint. You can see the yellow that then reverts down to the green as pullbacks happen and then kind of recovers a bit. So that's what's happening here. If this pullback continues, we'll see the short term UDPI pullback further into the green. Um, but if we continue to be range bound, then we'll likely continue to see this sort of action on the short term UDPI, meaning movement on the lower end of the scale um, without the ability to get back above it and make a run. So, you know, here's some fundamental and technical um, headwinds, I would say, that are likely to limit the upside potential of ADA. In spite of this bullish development, and it is indeed a bullish development, the Basel hard fork, it has the potential to give ADA uh, staying power. And it could mean that ADA is a good long-term investment, not financial advice, um, but it, it certainly has that potential. Um, and it's, it's a bullish development in that sense, but it's just not likely to translate into substantial price rallies right now because of the broader market conditions and because of what ADA is competing with in terms of the bigger fish, Ethereum, which is attracting more attention and is frankly a more important development because Ethereum is the number one smart contract platform. Um, by a wide margin. So be careful out there, guys. Um, you know, don't, uh, you know, just swallow down the hopium. Um, if you have a long-term perspective here, then, you know, keep an eye on how this Basel hard fork gets implemented. Um, if you want to be holding ADA, um, keep the long view in mind because the short term, um, you know, is anybody's guess, but uh, the headwinds, that we're facing right here are really substantial. So anyway, hope you guys found this useful. Thanks for watching.